Hello folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. Today we're going to be reading our gold chocobo here and we're going to be using one of the forced RNG tricks so that there's no racing involved, hence the reason you can do this once you first control Tifa. The whole thing takes about 30 to 40 minutes. The biggest time sink is actually capturing the chocobos that we need to breed, but we only need to capture two, so even that isn't too bad. And you can do this with pretty much any version of the game. In fact, on my modded version here, this is pretty much the only 4-star RNG trick I could find that worked. So I'm going to consider this the ultimate RNG trick for breeding a gold chocobo since it works with just so many editions of Final Fantasy VII. But if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like, stay subbed for future FF content, and let's get on with today's show. Okay, so let's talk prerequisites. I think where this method doesn't work for a lot of people is because they try and skip or jump in halfway through. So you do need to do this from scratch, and that means starting with a blank slate. So if you already have any chocobos either in the fenced area here or in any of these stables inside the barn, you will want to release them so that you are starting with zero chocobos. Now, if you haven't already purchased the stables, that is the first thing you want to do. So make sure you've purchased all six, and you can do that from inside the farm over on the left-hand side there. In terms of which version of the game, it doesn't matter which version of the game you're using as long as it's based on the 1998 PC version. In fact, I'm using a completely modded version of Final Fantasy VII and this method is still going to work. Now, the only thing is I'm not sure if this works on the original PlayStation version of the game that was released in 1997. It might do, I just have not been able to test it on that in order to find out one way or another. But all of the modern systems, if you're playing on one of those, then you're covered for this. And you can do this at any point from once Tifa is the party leader here on disc 2. You don't have to use Tifa, you can wait until later if you want to, but it's always nice to get that gold chocobo early. Now everything can be purchased from Chocobo Billy apart from the stables, which as I say are rented from the farmhouse itself. But all we need to purchase from Billy are some cheap things, it's not going to cost an arm and a leg, so this is definitely a cheap way of doing chocobo breeding here. We're going to want to purchase 70, or just make sure we have 70, Cracker Greens, which as you can see, I've already got. If you've already got a few, just make sure you buy enough to get to 70. And the other thing we need to purchase is a Sarah Heart Nut. So just get one of those, and I've got seven, which is more than what we need. You only need one. And that's it. That's all the gear we need to spend. So the stables, 70 greens, and one cheap nut. And now we can go and get the rest of the items from steals. So the first item that we're going to steal is called the Zeo Nuts. And very simply, you can steal it from the goblins that appear on this island here. And in particular in the uh, forest area. So I believe they're the only enemy that does appear in here. Yep, and the Zeo Nuts can simply be stolen from them. So we only need one of these. There we go, I got the Zeo Nuts on my fourth steal. It's also worth noting, I believe they can drop Zeo Nuts as well. Yes, so they can also drop them, but I like to steal it to guarantee it. Okay, right, next up we're heading over to the Icy Continent. Now before we head to the main continent itself, we're going to park on this small island here. So this is the just called Icy Call area. And we're going to run around and look for a dragon type enemy that has a lot of HP. Okay, and what we're looking to steal are two carob nuts. Although it is worth stealing three because it's always nice to have a spare. Now you don't need to actually defeat the enemy if you don't want to. Like I say, they have a lot of HP. Okay, I have my second carob nut, so now we're going to move on to actually catching the chocobos themselves. Since we're in the area, we're going to head just over to get the wonderful chocobo first by landing the high wind on this slight little bit of green uh, peninsula here, and then just heading over to the northwest to the chocobo tracks. And make sure you have the chocobo allure materia equipped, of course. And then we're looking for chocobos that appear with rabbits. They're called jumper enemies. And if they appear with a wolf, even with a rabbit, then we're not going to have the right chocobo. So first of all, let's just slow things down here. And you can use anything to keep the chocobo in battle. I use Geishao Greens. They tend to work well. 
Okay, there we go. So that is a wonderful chocobo. If the chocobo appears with one rabbit, that would also be a wonderful chocobo. But any combination with wolves, you may as well escape that battle or just do not catch the chocobo. Okay, we use our chocobo to make our way back to the high wind here. Save any further enemy encounters and then send it back to the stables. We only need to capture one. Okay, if you follow these RNG methods, we can force the correct gender there. And next up, we're going to head over to Medeal to capture our great chocobo. And we can land right next to the tracks. Now, a great chocobo will appear with either one or two spiral enemies. Any other combination of enemies will not be a great chocobo. So once again, we defeat the enemies in order to capture the chocobo, and we only need to get one great chocobo, as with the wonderful, we can force the gender with some RNG. Okay, so with both chocobos captured, we're going to now head back to the stables. We actually have everything we need to get our gold chocobo. going to start forcing some RNG in order to get genders that we want so that's going to be a female great and a male wonderful before anything else though make sure to remove that chocobo lure material we're going to be battling regular enemies later and move your character right up to the chocobo ranch and create a brand new save file we're going to create a lot of new saves so we can go back to any of them if we mess up any part of the process then do a hard reset at this point so that means closing out of the game completely not going back to the title screen and then simply load Final Fantasy VII up once more and load that save file we just created. When the save file is loaded, you want to get into the Chocobo Ranch as quickly as possible. If you don't see the world map because you managed to move in so quickly, all the better, as that's just going to stop any other RNG from interfering with our process. And with that first easy RNG force, we can now move both of our chocobos with the genders that we want. So make sure you select the great chocobo first, and that should be a female. Now, you can name it whatever you want, but for my naming conventions, I generally name them so that they can be identified quickly for mating later on. So for this chocobo, I will simply call it Great F for Great Female. And then we're going to move our wonderful chocobo into the stable. And again, so long as you was quick coming in from the save file, it should be a male. You might want to give it a name just to identify it later on. So far, so good, right? Okay, well, before we make our next save, I just advise checking which of the chocobos has been placed into which pen so that we can identify them more quickly later. So in my case, I can see where the great chocobo and wonderful chocobo are located one to another. And once we've done that, we can go and make our new save file. Once more, I recommend creating the save on a completely new file so that if you mess up later on in the process, you haven't got to go all the way back to the beginning. And again, just make sure that Tifa is located right next to the ranch so that we can enter quickly. And then we're going to do another hard reset, so close the game completely and open it back up. And once we open up the save file we just made, we quickly want to move back into the Chocobo Ranch, preferably once more without seeing the world map if possible. Now we're going to speak to Billy and select the feeding option, and it doesn't matter which Chocobo we feed, but we do need to feed a Chocobo one of the Cracker Greens that we purchased. The precise number of greens we feed is very important, and in this case, it is just one. Next up, we're going to select the mating option with Billy. We're going to mate our two chocobos, starting with the great female chocobo, and then selecting the wonderful male. And we're going to mate these with one of the carob nuts that we stole earlier. And so long as, again, you moved quickly into the chocobo ranch after loading your save file, fed the correct single green, and selected the chocobos in that order for mating, you should be able to force the RNG to create a blue chocobo, i.e. a river chocobo, of the female variety. 
So well done, folks, if you got the blue chocobo. Next up, before we make our next save file, we're going to go into some random battles. And we need to defeat enemies within six random encounters. Doing so will allow us to make those chocobos once again. So six encounters is all you need. Just make sure you do defeat the enemies. And then once you've defeated the enemies in all six encounters, we're going to go ahead and create another save file. You guessed it, right next to the chocobo ranch. So another hard reset later, loading up that latest save file, we're going to repeat the process in a very similar fashion. We're going to select the feed option with Billy, but this time we're going to feed 50 of our cracker greens. Again, it doesn't really matter which chocobo we select, I just select the blue one. Having now fed any of our chocobos with those 50 cracker greens, we're going to go for another round of mating our yellow chocobos. Once again, we want to select the great female first, followed by the male wonderful chocobo. Select the carob nut once more, and this is the final carob nut that we are going to require. And all things going well, we should get our mountain or green male chocobo. So we now have our green chocobo. Yay, I hope you folks are enjoying this method so far. It's a lot of fun. And now we're going to head back onto the world map for a further eight random enemy encounters. And once we've defeated eight encounters, we're going to create a new save file right in front of the ranch. Yet another hard reset later, we're going to load that latest save file, making our way back to Billy as quickly as possible, and then selecting the feed option once more. Again, you can feed any of the chocobos, but you need to feed the chocobo of choice five cracker greens. No more, no less. I'm just going to go ahead and feed the chocobo we just bred here. Five greens. And with that done, we're going back to the mating procedure. We're going to mate the blue female with the green male. And we're going to select that blue female first, followed by the green male. And this time, we're going to select the Sarahar nut. Now, a few people have noted that it hasn't worked for them with the Sarahar nut, but it did with the carob nut. Now, I've tried this multiple times, and it's always worked for me with the Sarahar nut. But I'll put that little proviso in there just in case you got something other than the black female that you're supposed to get, then just try with the carob nut to see if that works for you instead. Okay, back outside on the world map, more enemy fights. This time we just want to go for three random encounters. So three random encounters should be enough. However, if you still can't breed your black chocobo, this doesn't happen to me, you will need to do another four encounters. So what I recommend, before creating your next save file, after your first three encounters, just pop back into the ranch to see if that black chocobo is ready to breed. So all you need to do is select the mating option, head over to the black chocobo, and if it says that you can select it, then that's fine. You can go ahead and go back outside to create your new save file. If it says that you need to wait a little bit longer before breeding, then before making your save file, just do another four encounters. Again, make sure Tifa is close to the ranch. Okay, so another hard reset. The last time we need to do that, load up the save file we just made and quickly run back to Choco Billy and select the feed option. Cracker greens, as you would expect. And we're going to feed any Chocobo, doesn't matter which. I'll go for the black one. What is important is that we only feed six Cracker Greens this time to whichever Chocobo we're feeding. No more, no less. Just six. After that, we can go ahead and mate, hopefully for the last time. And the Chocobos we're going to be mating will be the black Chocobo with the wonderful Chocobo that we caught earlier. So we're going to select the black Choco first. And then we're going to select our wonderful male. And we're going to mate them using the Zeo nuts. So that's the nuts we stole from the goblins. And if all goes according to plan, you'll get your gold chocobo. Gold chocobo of a female kind.
Yay! So all that's left for me to really say is big congratulations to those of you that successfully used this method to get your own gold chocobo. And as I say, you know, if you follow all the steps as I laid them out, there shouldn't be any issues. This really should work every single time. And, you know, 30 to 40 minutes to get a gold chocobo, allowing us access to the best rewards in the entire game. Not too shabby at all. So if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like, sub for future content if you want to support me, and a huge thank you to those of you that support the channel through Patreon, YouTube membership, and over at Twitch. But anyway guys, have a wonderful day, enjoy your new ride, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.